headed to our last trial of the year. This is a scent work trial with Juno. Um, I'm running a little bit late, hence the lack of uh, proper intro to this video. I've got about an hour and a half left of the drive and we've got to pack two days. We've got container runs, exterior runs, and buried runs. Um, we've never done buried before, not something uh, necessarily easy to train without all the supplies um, at home, which is not cheap, so I didn't do it. Um, we're going to see how it goes. She's got two of each today and two of each tomorrow, but I will touch base when we get there. So we got here late. <clears throat> I missed the briefing or like the, the walkthrough. And then we got out of the car and they were doing novice. So we did our two exterior runs and she was extremely distracted. Um, like she would initially start sniffing and then she, would, she wouldn't care. And then we had containers immediately after that and she didn't sniff anything. Like completely uninterested in the boxes way more concerned with her surroundings than anything else so we have two buried today um and, uh, i don't think it's gonna go very well this is on me just like the last time we didn't really practice um and you don't get lucky twice so i mean it's not really like at the end of the day like it's not a big deal it's just it's a long drive and a hotel stay so it's a lot of money, but that's on me for not practicing. So it is what it is. We'll see how buried goes. Uh, not holding my breath. And then we have, we get to do it all again tomorrow. So. So she didn't get her two buried runs, but she was in like a better mindset, I guess you would say, than she was like the first runs. I think I had a revelation of why it bothers me so much when we don't qualify. And the funny thing is, is it's not even the not qualifying part. Like it's not about coming home with ribbons or anything like that. It's that I get embarrassed, that I feel like we shouldn't be there. Uh, that someone else could have utilized the slot better. And I know that's absurd. Like, especially even saying it out loud, it's ridiculous. So I just need to work on the fact that, like, sometimes we're going to come to trials and we're not going to qualify. But I'm spending time with Juno, and that's what's most important. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. But if we come home with nothing this weekend, we still had a weekend together. So for that, I am thankful. Also, I forgot to mention that after our buried runs, I took her back to the practice boxes, which she had zero interest in earlier this morning, and she killed it. <laughs> it was like end of day, and she was like, I just want to remind you that I do in fact know what I'm looking for. So um, I managed to get a few clips of her running the practice boxes, so I will include that here. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. 
we are now home from the trial and Juno qualified in four of her 12 runs this weekend. So here are the ones that she qualified in. We've got Container and she got second place, Buried and she got third place, Exterior second place and Exterior third place. I did get a fault on this run and that is because she did not enter between the cones. So I thought that disqualified us, but the judge told me to keep running. So I ran it and we qualified and I'm glad that I didn't just like stop because she said all it is is a time fault. So as long as we finish with enough time um, to, you know, have the fault come in there and still be under the time limit, then we still qualify. So good to know, good information, but those are her four runs. And then this is or these are the ribbons that she came home with. So she got her exterior novice title and then her placement ribbons. So I'll be doing the same thing with this title ribbon that I did with these two. So I'll, I'll you know, make it all fancy. But yeah, that is all of our stuff. So here is my tracker for her novice title. Um, I've mentioned it before, but I do have these available in my Etsy shop as a download PDF, and I have one for all of the levels. So, um, but I just like paper. I like to be able to visualize it and see it. So you can see here, she just needs three more containers for her container novice elite title, and then she needs two more buried for her overall scent work novice title. I do think I'm still gonna keep her a novice. I just don't feel like we're ready to move up yet. But I'm just gonna keep going at this and maybe we'll end up getting her scent work novice elite title, her overall, um, by getting 10 qualifying runs in all of the elements. But yeah, that's where we stand at the end of the year. So I obviously did not end up filming a whole lot on this trip or this trial weekend. And initially it was because I was just being a downer and I was just sad about the way Saturday went but at the end of Saturday um, when we were done with our runs I was sitting in my car getting ready to leave and one of my new dog friends came up to me and said they needed some help moving some containers around for buried so I said sure I can't check into my hotel yet um, so I'll do it and I ended up helping the rest of the trial on Saturday and all day on Sunday and I can't even begin to explain to you guys how amazing it was. We could have not qualified in anything all weekend and I still would have had an absolute blast because volunteering was the most fun. I just keep repeating myself, but it was great. I got to learn from a very experienced, very nice judge. She was fantastic. She actively was teaching me things and showing me things and I learned how they place hides for exterior and I got to watch other dogs run and see things that some handlers miss when you're running your own dog but you notice when you're watching you know from the outside the way the dogs indicate and the way they catch odor and it was it was amazing and so I really cannot recommend enough volunteering at your scent work trials these judges they are there to help you they want you to succeed and they want to teach you. They want to share all this wealth of knowledge that they have. And just, it's free. Suck it up, you know. Take, take in all that information and run with it. So, I, overall, I had a really good weekend. We ended up coming home with four cues. And I learned an insane amount. Um, so, yeah, what a great closeout to the year. That is our last trial of the year. Um, but I am ready to hit 2020 three running i'm ready to to set more goals and see what we accomplish so thank you guys so much for watching i know it wasn't a super super exciting video but i will see you guys in the next one